Fellow Pelicans and friends of the UWI, welcome to Pelican Bites, a Google Hangout where we promote interactive and positive discussion about a variety of topics and engage our UE alumni across the Caribbean and the world. Pelican Bites is a special shortened version of our usual Pelican Talks, which we're doing specially for the month of July as the UWI leads up to its Global Giving Week in August 2017. My name is Celia Davidson Francis, and I'm the Director of Alumni Relations for the UWI. It's my pleasure today to have as our very special guest on Pelican Bites, Mr. Winston Lakshman. He's a 1971 First Class Honors graduate of the UWI St. Augustine campus in Trinidad and Tobago, and has been retired since 2014. His last position being Chief Technical Officer at Methanol Holdings Trinidad Limited. Now, Winston is Trinidadian, and I'd like to share with our listeners and viewers today that before that, before attending UWE, he also received the Jerningham Gold Medal for his A-level results, being top student in Trinidad and Tobago. He also obtained a government open scholarship in, mathemat in mathematics and the UWI open scholarship. He then went on to do his Master of Science at the University of Florida and worked in the engineering field in Trinidad and Tobago for many years before retiring. So Winston, I'd first love to talk to you about your motivation to donate to the UWI. What prompted you to give to UWI? Well, it, it really began with someone sending me an email on the link. And then I, be, I realized at that time that it was even possible. I didn't know before that it was even possible. So then I followed up on the link. It's, it's mainly, well, it, as you said before, I had a, I owe my career to UWI mainly because it, it taught it wise to fund my education. So I thought, well, maybe yes, this is something good. I'll help fund somebody else's or I'll just help the university in general. Excellent. So that was my main, main motivation. Well, I'm very glad to hear that the link was what, um, the email and the link were what motivated you. I know that um, the staff in the Institutional Advancement Division will be very happy to know that we're being effective in our outreach to alumni. And I'm really happy too that you, are, you felt motivated to give back in this way. I just want to add that we encourage our alumni and friends of the UWE to donate whatever they can manage. It does not have to be a large amount every time, but if every graduate gives a little, collectively we really can make a large impact. So Winston, let's share a little bit, a bit about your UWE experience with our listeners and viewers as well. What about your life at UWI? Uh, as a, an engineering student, um, I'm sure you were linked somehow to Canada Hall, the famous <laughs> or infamous Canada Hall. I was linked to the rival hall, Milner ah. Hall. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, tell me a little bit about Milner and, and your, your think, life at UWE. I think it was fortunate that I lived, I was on block in the university because the, well, the social life in the hall is a lot more, a lot more conducive to studying as well because you're in a big group. To, like if you live off campus and you're living by yourself, you're living home. So while we had good times, we also had, when I say fun times, we also had good study groups going as well. But I came straight out of college, so I was sort of sheltered. Mm -hmm. So it was uh, a very much of a learning experience, just the social life. <laughs> <laughs> <On block. laughs> that's good that's good and of course we had a big rival going with rivalry going with Canada mm -hmm. so we used to have some raids and this kind of things <laughs> that's good so tell us a little bit about the raids oh you just now the Canada Hall was mainly non-Trinidadians and Milner Hall was mainly Trinidadians so maybe it had a bit of island rivalry <laughs> but you just go down there and, you know, throw some balloons at water and this sort of thing. <laughs> and they come up and try to see him. 
Okay. Except in Milnau, I had some gear, so when they come up, they might have different reins in mind. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, that's cool. all the bones. There's only bones. Okay, okay. Well, I know, uh, is it, do you keep a lot of the contacts you made from your time at Milner Hall still? Not too many. Some one, one major mover and shaker and he holds a guy from Guyana. Mm -hmm. And he, he comes and, and when he visits, he would go to a friend of mine, another friend of mine from Yui, and we meet together. So he's the, I think the only one that's not Trinidadian that we still keep up with. At least we used to keep up with. Okay, good, good. There's quite a few other trainees from the, from the hall. Uh, and the, well, there's one guy and we keep up with. Oh yeah, and a guy from uh, St. Lucia too. Okay, good. Well, at least there was a good Caribbean mix there. That's nice. And your professors and lecturers, do you rem recall any particular ones um, because of, of what they, uh, how they influenced you or did you make some friendship? I did, um, yeah, I did electrical engineering. Mm -hmm. The professor was the famous Dr. Julian. Mm. He, he used to come in with, with no, without any notes. I guess he did it so often, he knew, knew it by heart. Mm -hmm. Another main professor was Dr. King. Mm -hmm. I met Dr. King again. I meet him regularly in the front meetings right now. He retired too from UE, but he keeps up a business, so I meet him fairly regular. I also continue to meet with Dr. Copeland, who is now, well, not since he's been made principal. But before that, we used to keep up with you regular. Good. Very good. Yeah. And your wife and your two children, are, did they go to UWI? My wife went to UWI. I met her in UWI. Oh, you're a UWI uh, couple. I do. <laughs> she used to live in Milner Hall, too. Aha, uh -huh, OK. So that's why I met her. And my two kids went. OK. One went to university, both went to university in, um, in the States. Okay, all right, good. One, one, is, one is back in UA right now. Oh yes, what, are they, what is he or she doing? He's studying medicine. Excellent, excellent. Well, I'm sure he's gonna do very well there and, and contribute to Trinidad and Tobago once he graduates. That's his plan, yes. Great, okay. Well, as I mentioned, the UWI Global Giving Week is coming, and it's going to be from August 1st to 7th, 2017. And we have as our guest Winston Lakshman, and he has contributed to the UWI and is a donor who has given via Alumni Online to assist UE's continued development. The Global Giving Week is a part of the overall UE Global Giving Program, which allows UE alumni, public and private entities, multilaterals and friends of the UE to donate and I just want to let everyone know how easy it is to donate right Winston you can yes, do it's so. very easy good you, so, yeah. do it online yes yes so we have a testimonial right here so 24 7 on our web community alumni online you just have to go to www.uwi.edu slash giving and donate and as I've said before doesn't matter the amount, no matter how small or how large, we are extremely grateful and appreciative of any assistance and help that you can give to the University of the West Indies. Now, Winston, you also worked as a course coordinator for the Open Campus. Can you share with us a little of what this entailed? Well, I'm still doing that currently. And it oh, entails, okay. it entails uh, depending on the size of the class, you coordinate the different tutors. If the class is small, like right now in so many classes, small. So I'm doing it by myself. But during the normal semesters, there's usually a larger class. So you, you set up the website, you set up the course outline, you do the exams, you correct, you get people to correct, you know, you, mm -hmm. everything's done online. So it's, is done from home. That's makes good. It so it's easy and convenient for you? 
It is, yes. And for the students yeah. too. As well as the students. The students actually, to my mind, have a better access to the lecturer because they have it 24 7. Right, it's, that's right. It's not like any face to face. Uh, right. So if they if they don't want if they want to go over something, they have the opportunity to to, to listen yeah. again and make it really they clear. Listen, yeah, they can listen to the recording, so you could email your professor at any time and expect a reply within twenty four hours. Excellent. Yeah. yeah. And do you do your course is in electrical engineering? No, my course is in science, medicine, and technology. Ah, it's one okay. of those foundation courses where lots of students must do. Okay, very good. And so you find you have students from all over the Caribbean? That's correct, all over the Caribbean, including some far places like Bermuda and, and you don't normally think of these as Caribbean. Yeah, okay. So cool. US and, you know, Jamaica, Barbados, Trinidad, uh -huh. St. Lucia, St. Kitts. Good. I also think that there are lecturers who are not in the Caribbean. Because it's done online, they, they do from wherever they've moved to. Okay, great. So they, they might have a Caribbean connection, but be residing in America or wherever, but they still have that. Yes. Excellent. Well, the Open Campus is really giving us great service, so I'm glad that you're a part of it. And I'm glad you're it's contributing. So I'm, yeah, so far I'm glad to be part of it too. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Thank you very much for your contribution to the Open Campus because I know you're making a positive impact on the life of many students, so that's wonderful. So One um, thing, one thing mm -hmm. I wanted to mention about the donating, mm -hmm. in case you didn't get it, when you put the, the amount you put in US dollars. Yes, uh, the amount is always in US. We can only accept in the equivalent of US, so uh, just bear that in mind because we have, because we have, UE is across the 17 countries, we have many different currencies, so uh, even though you are donating, it's going to be converted to the equivalent US. So whatever amount you put, if you want to give five US, make sure you put five uh, and not any other figure. We don't want you to have any surprises. We don't want you to be more generous than you intended without intending to be. <laughs> okay. Um, what, and I noticed as well, Winston, that you've had a, um, a very in-depth career in engineering. You've had to use your, you've um, been responsible for departments as well as being managing director of a company. Your financial skills, your interpersonal skills, your technical skills have all been used. And you even had the opportunity to travel through your career. Um, and I noticed that you also got to go to J Japan. How was that? Yeah, it was very enlightening. One good uh, aspect of engineering, especially project engineering, mm -hmm. in Trinidad is that the different plants come from different countries. Mm -hmm. They're not indigenous to Trinidad. So early on in my career, I was seconded to the methanol plant, which was being bought in Japan. So the company I worked for was partially governmental and the new methanol plant was 100% governmental. So the government asked the company to, to give them some, let's say in British Commons, talent to use, to bring this new plant to Trinidad. So three of us were chosen and I was one of the three. The awesome. One, yeah, one of the other guys was a Canadian graduate and the third guy was also a UV graduate. Very good, so UV did some good work bringing that knowledge we spent Back. a month in Japan. <laughs> okay, well, and I'm sure the culture was very different from what you were used to. Oh yes, completely different. We, later on, we did a plant in the US. Mm -hmm. And the big difference, we noticed that whatever we did today in Japan was already in the system by tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And we would leave the office nine in the night. And by the next morning, it was in the system. So obviously, wow. they didn't go much up. Well, yeah, but obviously their their work culture is very strong, so they are they're very into implementing whatever they 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 can quickly. So in the, in the middle of the day, in the middle of the morning, in the middle of the afternoon, they would come on a PA system and everybody would do calisthenics at the desk, 
and sit back down. <laughs> <laughs> <Poor Of course. laughs> Health conscious as well. We need to we need to yes. stop some yeah. of those those things here. Yeah. Very interesting. Okay, Winston, yes, any final words to encourage other alumni and friends of the UE to donate? Yes, yeah, you could just think of your days in the UE and remember the Always to learn to We're having some technical difficulties here, Winston. Just hold on one second. I'm going to see if we can refresh because I don't think people got to hear your last response. Okay. How it is just checking. How it is just um, resetting. So I'm going to ask you again, we're listening to Winston Lakshman, and I had just asked him if he had any final words to encourage other alumni and friends of the UE to donate. So go ahead now, Winston, I think we're all set. Okay, I was, what I was saying is that you could remember your time at UE. You could also recall that there are always students in need. If you're in a position to help, then go ahead and, it's very easy to do online with a credit card, go ahead and and put something as she said it's not necessary out to be big anything you could afford it will go to you at your choice it will go to a student it go to a faculty sorry or it could go to the university you have a choice so i'm encouraging you to go ahead and have a shot thank you so much winston well, everyone, I hope you've enjoyed today's Pelican Bite with our distinguished guest and donor, Mr. Winston Lakshman. I'd like to thank Howard Shand, our digital media and database manager who facilitates this Google Hangout. We look forward to you joining us on our next Pelican Bite next Wednesday, July 19th, 2017 at 12 noon Jamaica time, where we'll speak with another Global Giving Program donor as we lead up to the 2017 Global Giving Week from August 1 to 7, 2017. So thanks very much for tuning in. Once again, thank you very much, Winston, for being our special guest. We appreciate the time you've taken, and we are really grateful for the contribution and donation that you've made, and for all that you're continuing to do for UE at the Open Campus. Thank you again, and remember everyone, show your Pelican pride and donate at www.ue.edu slash giving. Thank you. Bye, Winston. Thank you again. Bye. Bye. Bye.